Welcome to this video covering the Carson scan to k LiDAR instrument and the actual scan cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration process. The Carson scan to k bridges the gap between small, short-range sensors and large, long-range pulse time-of-flight scanners. With a user-friendly interface and powerful registration software, you can easily collect data in the field and have the point cloud ready in no time for uses including BIM, surveying, and engineering projects. In our case, we decided to work on a target-free multi-scan of this site for training. In the scan to K houses inclinometers, a compass, and an L1 GNSS receiver, the only concern was to provide sufficient overlap with each scan for best results. Once all the scans were completed, simply download the data to a USB drive and copy to your computer. Now, in Atlas Scan, what's our new project? Let's give it a name, a building site and select a root folder for the data. And I'm going to have something here at Las Vegas. That's good. All right, let's check the units. scan to k works in multiple systems. Let me use US, perfect, and create. All right, now let's click on Process. So we'll open the next window. All right, perfect. Now, Windows Explorer, we had the scans, so I'm going to grab them from them and drag and drop into the plan window. Notice you can highlight any scan, you can zoom in and kind of review the data from that scanned image. You select all of them, click on settings, run the main return last, everything else is good, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now let me click on the Import Selected. Now I want to do a single click, so I'm going to use the wizard to do pre-processing and find registration. Let's take a look at the settings. All right, so again, we're going to do last. The defaults here are OK. For pre-processing, we can keep all the defaults here. But uh, let me add the range spike uh, process. All right, everything else looks okay. The neighborhood points look good. All right, uh, for this one, for pre-registration uh, construction, because we have a uh, building here, so that's good. And we want to do the fastest. For the ICP registration, we'll keep all the defaults. Same thing with the bundle adjustments. So let's go ahead and hit okay. All right, we'll click on next. And just a reminder, we're going to do construction architectural use. All right, and oh, let's just review the References. So our first scan is the main reference. Okay, perfect. Next. All right, and let's process. Now, this will take uh, a few minutes. It depends on how many scans you have and all that. Now, one thing that you can do is open the log window and just get an idea of how the process is going, uh, you know, what else is missing, etc. So let me go ahead and stop recording here. I'll bring this back once uh, some of this has already been done. Okay. So it finished. I can see my average ICP error and my accuracy. So you can say create a report. I said yes. Okay, let me close the log window. Now what I want to do now is highlight the different scans or, and load the model. So let's do that with the first one. And let's do predefined views, default view. You have layer views like bubble view. It kind of sets you up the scanner. Let me go back to default. All right. Uh, we can scroll around uh, using the mouse. So kind of right click, left click, and the wheel. All right, let's load the others because we already told the software to go through pre-registration and find registration on the process. So there it is. Zoom OK. So we can kind of pan around, zoom around, and that looks good. OK, since we're done, what I can do now is simply go to the project window, right click, and what I'm going to do is merge the clouds. And there's a couple of methods, uh, merge and level 3D or single point clouds. So I'm going to do the merge level 3D. Just click there. There we go. And keep all the defaults, all my surveys. There we go. Let's hit OK. It's asking for a name, so I'm just going to call this one merged. All right. Let's save. There we go. So I'm going to take a moment or two to go through this. And there we are. Let's go ahead and load this model. We can see it here. Now, I've always had the chance to change the colors. So let's just show inclination, confidence. 
and of course you have the reflectance. Now I'm happy with the results so far. So let me go back to color. And what I can do now is export the data. So it's going to export. I have a few options, one of them being recap, if you're going for Revit or an AutoS application. I'm going to export to LAS and let's click here. I'm going to select LAS. There's multiple formats, of course. So we can save. And it's reminding me I have saved, so yes. All right. Now let me just make this one a little bigger on the color by. I'm going to do it by color, not by confidence or inclination, right? And there we are. Just completed the process. We saved the file. Now we have this point cloud that will open up in other applications. If I had to use the recap form of the RCP, I could open this project in Revit. Um, as I said, I went for LAS and I've done a little work now in Carson Point Cloud, including for everything in the project. I can do a few more things. All right. Thank you for watching. Again, we talked about Scan2K and the Atom Scan Cloud to Cloud registration process.